Hey guys, it's Dee. So I have had quite a few people comment and ask me to do a video on how I repress my powders. So what I have here today is I'm going to be showing you how I repress my powders. Please excuse my lovely little birdie. He may be making a little bit of noise, but he's right next to me. So if you hear some um, tweeting in the background, that's my little Charlie. So what we're going to do is these are the products that we're going to start off with. And so here I've got two powders that need repressing. My first is the Bow Beauty um, Compact Powder. I'm scraping the edges and it's getting really hard to get my brush in. So I'm going to be repressing that one. I'm also repressing my Nude by Nature Pressed Powder which has smashed up a little bit. So we're going to be repressing that as well. This one I'm not too sure how it's going to go, only because this is a mineral pressed powder and doesn't actually contain any alcohol. So I'm not too sure how this is going to go with adding alcohol to it. Other products that we have is I just have a bobby pin that I've stretched out and um, this is just an old bobby pin. I'm going to be using that to break up the powders. I have some tissues. I've got a tissue box right next to me as well. So I'm going to be using a couple of tissues. I have a coin and this is just to actually press the product. Anything with a nice flat surface is perfect and round obviously because we're using round um, containers. And the last product I have is some Surgical Spirit. This is just alcohol and this, this particular one is 96% alcohol. Um, I do prefer this over like rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is only like... 65 or 70 percent alcohol so i find that it, the higher the alcohol content the better it works so this is the one that i choose and like this has lasted me almost a year and i'm not finished it so you really only need a little bit it doesn't really matter you know size wise anyway um so let's get started i'm going to do the bow one first because i know this one's definitely going to work so what we're going to do is we're going to take our powder and take our Bobby pin, you can use anything for this. Some people use knives. I just find that a bobby pin works really well because it's small and, and you can get really into, um, into the powder and break it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this up and make it a fairly fine powder. So this is what my crushed up powder looks like. Um, there are a couple of little chunks, but like it doesn't really make much difference. Um, just make sure you get any of the really big chunks really well crushed up. But this is um, good enough for me. We're now just gonna lay out a couple of tissues just so we're not damaging our surface that we're working on. And let's be honest, my mum would kill me if I damaged this table. So we're just gonna put a couple of tissues down. We don't want any alcohol to get onto the bench. I'm just going to pop my powder right in the middle of the tissues there. We are now going to take some alcohol. It works really well if you do use droppers or like a syringe or something to actually get the product out because then you can be very very specific on how much you actually pour into the product. Um, start off with a small amount and gradually add if you need more. I don't have a dropper or anything so what I tend to do is I just pour a little bit in the lid and that's how I measure it. So I've just got a little bit of the alcohol in the lid there and I'm just going to pour the, a little bit right in the center of the powder. There is still more in the lid that we can add later. So I've just added a drop into the middle of the powder and I'm just going to start stirring with my bobby pin again. And it kind of makes almost like a clay. You don't want this too watery. You do want it more... Uh, thicker but still moldable. Does that make sense? Anyway, now I'm going to add some more alcohol. As you can see, it soaked up all the alcohol and now is kind of attached to the, um, the head of the bobby pin. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit further so you can see this better. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better now. Um, it's just kind of clumped up, but there's still a lot of powder on the outside that isn't contained in this little clump. So I'm going to add some more alcohol. Just going to take my cap and add in the rest of what was in the cap. And continue to mix. 
So this is the type of consistency you want. It's kind of like a, it's kind of muddy, like a muddy consistency. You don't want it too, um, you don't want it too thin and you, you want it not, not like a hard ball. You do want it fairly smooth. So um, all of that powder is now contained in this um, little paste we have now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my powder and I'm going to maneuver the powder into the middle of the pan. Um, I'm just going to use my finger to do this. So this is what my powder looks like all maneuvered into the middle. We're now going to take another tissue and just lay it over the top of the powder. And we're going to take our coin now. So I'm just taking my coin. This is just, you can use any flat surface, anything that's um, hard and flat and that you can push down on. So I'm going to lay my... So I'm just taking the coin and pressing it down all the way over the entire pan. What I am going to do, I'm going to fold my tissue in half and do that again. So what this does is this actually presses the product back into the pan and um, makes it solid again um, while also soaking up a um, fair amount of the alcohol that we don't need. Just rubbing that coin all the way in there. So that is my powder all pressed now. I'm going to leave that for a few hours. I'll probably leave it overnight just to make sure it is completely dry. Do not cover your powder again so don't put the lid back on it. We're going to leave the lid off and just let that air dry for at least 12 hours. Once again, let's do my nude powder. This one is crumbled. So this is like if you dropped a powder and it's um, just smashed or crumbled or if you've ordered it online and it's come crumbled. You can do this same technique for the exact same thing. I'm just going to first start off by crumbling up the rest of the powder. Now because this powder is a little harder than the Bow Beauty one, um, it's getting a little difficult to crush up with just the bobby pin. So I'm actually going to take a spoon and use that to crush it up. Now if your powder is brand new or has a lot of product still left in it and you're finding it difficult to contain it within the pan, you can empty the product out into a snap lock bag and use the snap lock bag um, like while the powder is inside the snap lock bag and crush it up then and then pour it back into your pan if you um, have got a lot of powder. But this is enough that it can be contained into the pan I don't really need to empty it out. So now we're going to add in our alcohol. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure how this is going to affect this particular powder, but we're going to give it a go and see how it goes. Now with this powder, because there's a fair amount of it still, instead of maneuvering it into the middle, we're just going to smooth it out over the entire pan. So I'm just going to take the spoon and do that. Now it's time to press, so we're just going to lay over a tissue again and use our coin to press. I am actually putting pressure on the coin so it does actually press down into the pan and I just follow the pan around. So that's what that looks like and I'm just going to clean up the outside of the pan. And that is the finished product of both of my products. They will be left to dry out now for at least 12 hours so I'll leave mine overnight. And yeah, then you can use them again. That's it. It's as easy as that. Really, really easy to repress products and I love doing it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if it was helpful and if you um, enjoyed it. Let me know if you press your products and if you do it a little differently. Please let me know. 
Um, let me know if you have any questions or anything down below in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.